today we're going to create a MetaMask wallet. MetaMask is a crypto wallet and a gateway to blockchain apps. So here we have Googled or searched MetaMask.io. So we are going to click download now. We are going to install MetaMask for our browser. I'm going to install MetaMask for Chrome. However, it does also give you these other browsers that are supported. Chrome, Firefox, Brave, and Edge. Safari does not work properly, so please use one of these. Okay, I'm going to use for Chrome. And MetaMask is an extension that we are going to get at the Chrome Web Store. We are going to click Add to Chrome. We're going to add the extension. So MetaMask has been added to Chrome. Welcome to MetaMask. Okay, a tip of the day. The little puzzle piece at the top here where my extensions are managed and I can see here that MetaMask is right here and I'm going to click on this push pin and it is going to add it right to my toolbar up here. So now we're going to get started. Today we are going to create a wallet. Creating a wallet is when you do not currently have either a trust wallet or a MetaMask wallet. If you already have one, then you would be importing the existing wallet. You are going to import your wallet. So yes, let's get set up. We are going to create a new wallet and a secret recovery phrase. Please read this. I agree. Here we are going to select a eight character password and I'm going to create. Okay, this is a very important video here. Please watch it. MetaMask is a new way to connect to sites and applications. On traditional websites, that's it. Now you know what a secret recovery phrase is and how to keep your wallet safe and secure. Alrighty, please, please listen to whatever he said. Never, ever, ever give your 12 words to anybody. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna click next. And on this page, secret backup phrase. So once we click this box here that says click here to reveal secret words. Okay, so I've written down the 12 words. These are my 12 words. Yours will be different, totally random. Click on next. Now I'm gonna click confirm. Congratulations, you passed the test. Okay, it's only your responsibility. There is nothing that can be done if you give your 12 words to somebody. Okay, so we're all done. This is just a little bit of news updates that they will put in here. So you can read those at your leisure. We have now set up our MetaMask wallet. Here it says account one. Here is the wallet address. Here it says Ethereum mainnet. We, however, work off the Binance Smart Chain. So we need to change this to smart chain. We're going to click this down arrow here and we're going to come down to custom RPC. And we are going to fill in. Now I will share with you it by email, by messenger, by text, the information you need to put in this box. I have it on my notes. So I know that the network name, I'll just move this over a little bit. Network name is here. Our URL here, etc., etc. Right here, paste. So this is it. Okay. And you click save. We are now connected to Smart Chain. It's added right here. We X out here, and we'll see our wallet itself now says smart chain okay still says account one if you wish to change it and give it a name you would click in three dots account details in here where the pencil is you can write in true badger or you know joe's millions or whatever you want you don't even have to okay click the check mark x out now you see it says true badger and this is your wallet address, okay? A uh, smart chain wallet always starts with 0x. My wallet right here starts with 0x4381, and it ends in 396B. This is about a 
18 digit number. So please don't try and copy it as well. It's so very easy to miss a letter. Always click to copy. Also, you will see this, these two boxes overlapping each other. That is also an international symbol for copy, copy to clipboard. Okay, there are times when you are going to need your, to copy your wallet address, uh, perhaps for a contest, for perhaps um, for just sharing information to a, another member to double check on your wallet in BSC scan, etc. There is not the same national security level on a wallet address as your 12 words. So if somebody does ask for your wallet, as long as you know who they are and that they have a genuine purpose, please um, feel it's okay to do that. Okay, so I'm now going to show you how to add the True Badger token. I'm going to click in here, add token. Okay, because you're going to want to add your True Badger tokens in here. You want them to show up once you have made, there we go. Once you have made any purchases, any swaps, received any contest winnings, etc. Okay, so I always go to the website. You always want to go to a reputable place where you know you're going to get the proper contract address. So truebadger.io, here is our contract address right here, okay, right on the first home page. You can click on these two boxes, copied, and go back to MetaMask. In the token contract address, I'm going to click paste. And here it populates as True Badger. Okay, click next. Would you like to add this token? Add token. I don't have any transactions yet here. Backtrack. Now my True Badgers are sitting here. And when I have anything added, either through a purchase, a transfer in, an airdrop, etc., that amount of tokens will show up here. I hope that's been helpful. Um, have a great day.